This is the BlackBerry Key 1 from last year, and it made the BlackBerry form factor relevant again in an industry where the smartphones are completely covered with glass on the front. BlackBerry has just announced the successor to the Key 1, appropriately named the Key 1 2. No, I'm totally kidding, but would you imagine? <laughs> I'm Ricky with GSM Marina, and let's take a first look at the BlackBerry Key 2. The Key 2 has identical dimensions to the Key 1, but it's slightly thinner and a bit lighter thanks to 7 series aluminum. BlackBerry is going for bolder lines and sharper corners, so it isn't as curvy as the Key 1. It reminds us more of the masculine design elements from the BlackBerry Bold. The Key 1's keys felt squishy and hesitant when first switching from virtual keyboards. But the Key 2's keyboard action is smoother all the way through and tactile feedback is better. On top of that, it is roomier, so you should get a comfy typing experience with better accuracy. The keyboard's aesthetic is also changed. The keys have finer bevel details and are now matte instead of glossy. Finally, there's a new shortcut in the keyboard called the speed key. It's basically a shortcut for your shortcuts. And what that means is, rather than having to go back home to access a keyboard shortcut, you can hit the speed key to access any shortcut from any app to really minimize the time spent tapping around. Above the keyboard is a capacitive nav bar that lights up when the phone is being used and turns off when it isn't. Above that nav bar is a display similar to the Key 1's. This is a 4.5 inch LCD 1080p screen with an unconventional aspect ratio. BlackBerry also got rid of the forehead bar from the Key 1 and embedded those sensors under the glass. Around back is a new diamond pattern texture with plenty of grip. Above the BlackBerry logo is a new dual camera, which we'll get to in a bit. There's a 3.5mm headphone jack at the top and a mic loudspeaker combo grill at the bottom. The phone is charged via USB-C and keeps the same 3505mAh battery from the Key 1. We expect to see some great battery endurance on the Key 2 with its Snapdragon 660 chip. With that new CPU and 6GB of RAM, we expect to see a noticeable improvement in performance out of the Key 2. The power button has moved from its awkward position on the upper left side to the right side right between the volume rocker and convenience key. Like the BlackBerry Motion, the power key is textured to make it easier to tell apart. DTEC now offers a complete scan tool for optimizing performance and security. And there's a more comprehensive breakdown of which permissions your apps are requesting and you can check out how often the permissions are being used. For example, you can see how often Facebook has been requesting location, and you'll see whether that was done in the foreground or in the background. The power center has been updated with machine learning, so it can learn your charging patterns. It'll suggest when to charge your phone if it predicts you won't make it through your regular charging window. Finally, the locker gets a couple of new features. In addition to photos, email accounts, files, and contacts, you can now add entire apps to your locker and keep sensitive apps away from kids or wandering eyes. Here, you'll also find the Firefox Focus Browser, whose home is in the locker. When opening sensitive links from your email, for example, you might be asked to open it in the Focus Browser. To access the locker, you can scan your fingerprint right on the spacebar. The Key 2 has an updated dual camera with twin 12 megapixel sensors. Of course, this second sensor brings new camera features like a proper portrait mode with bokeh, improved performance in low light conditions, as well as two times optical zoom. The Key One's camera really exceeded our expectations in this department, so this time we're expecting the Key Two's camera to be a significant step up from the Key One's. The BlackBerry Key Two will be available in silver and black color options and will set you back $650 or euros. As a former BlackBerry Curve owner, I'm personally very excited for the Key 2. I just think that the QWERTY keyboard offers a completely different user experience from anything that's out in the market right now. With that said, let us know what you think of the BlackBerry Key 2. Leave a comment down below and let us know if you like the silver model or if you like the black model. And let us know your thoughts in general about the phone. I'm Ricky signing off for GSM Arena. Thanks for watching.